Hey, what's happening, you guys? Creative D. Will here, your everyday creative dad. Welcome to the channel, and thank you all for tuning in. Yo, today is an awesome day for us Native Instruments folks out here. They are releasing a new play series called Vows that has to do with all about brass instruments. Yes, trumpets, trombones, all that good stuff in this play series. So what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna take a listen to these sounds to see if there's something that you guys wanna add to your arsenal and just mess around with it and see how the workflow works and everything. But if you know play series, then you should pretty much know this one. So. If this is your first time, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. But y'all already know what time it is. Let's dive in and let's get creative. Hi you guys, so welcome back. As y'all can see, I have the product page pulled up here. This is not the official one. This is the pre-release one that Native Instruments sends out to me, but we're just gonna take a quick look. I think it's gonna start off at $99, so that could change. I'm not sure when, whenever the release date happens, we'll know for sure. So like I said, instant emotive brass. So all about brass and horns and stuff like that. So if you're somebody that want to add that into your production, then this instrument can very well be the one that you turn to. So easily create evolving brass textures from a single note or chord yes i messed around with it and that is true so you got up to 100 presets phrases uh with three variations of each or build your own which is dope design your sound with the full mix control and dedicated slots for um creative effects so this is what it says right here intimate brass for contemporary production so if you are somebody like i said that want to dive into that then this is for you um, I ain't gonna lie, I mess with it and it sounds pretty dope. It sounds pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna be utilizing it. Just some of the things that, I, some of the presets that I ran ran across. So let's go down and let's just see what else, else it all it has to offer. Perform expressive brass phrases. Ooh, all the presets and vowels contains a contemporary collection of phrases for each instrument, each composed from a professionally performed articulations, synced to your host tempo and designed to work seamlessly together. Ooh, inject movement and color into your production with the move with the moment slider. Yeah, with the moment slider, which progressively and musically introduce a new phrase variation one instrument at a time. Now that sounds interesting. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Explore 100 presets. We already said that. Or create your own. So you create your own preset. Save them. What else? What is this? So this is like the mixer tab where you can add whatever you want to add. But anyway, we're just gonna, um, if you want to see it in action, they go deep. Native Instruments always put out a product video where they go deep. This video, we're just gonna be talking about some of the presets and y'all let y'all hear what it sounds like. So let's see, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So I got Native Instruments pulled up here. Just a caveat, if you are, if you have a machine, you're gonna need Contact 7. So if you wanna buy this, you're gonna need Contact 7 because it, it pulls up inside of Contact 7. I don't know if it pulls up inside of any other Contact. I haven't checked that out yet. But I know you, I got Contact 7 and that's what I have it up inside. So you might need just a Contact player. Yeah, I believe you just need Contact just to um, pull it up. So let's go ahead and go with that. So let's go back up here to the top and let's take a listen to some of these presets right here. If you are new to Contact 7, you have Contact 7, you're new to it, you can actually come down here and select which bank you want. But we're gonna start off with all bank and just just thumb through it just to see what it sounds like sounds like brass <laughs> I like that one. I don't know what it is. Like bouncing blue. I like you, bouncing blue. It's kind of low. Let me turn up the volume on this uh, thing so we can hear it a little bit better. I like I like that. Got a little rhythm to it. I don't know why, but everything that has like a little bounce to a little rhythm, I really like it. It sounds dope. So 
I, I'm, I'm rocking with this. Woo! I'm a hard cheat too. I like that. Let me start that. Ooh, just noise. Ooh, I like just noise. And that, there you have it. There's all the presets inside of all 100 of them. Yo, we went through 100 presets. Yeah, it looks like it. So, all right, let's go ahead and pull up an instance of Valve here. Like I said, you need contact in order to play this instrument. And if you're used to Native Instruments um, play series, this is kind of like that. So, set for, it's kind of different because you can blend in all the different sections right here, down here, rather than on each side. So, let me go ahead here. We're going to play some of these sounds. <laughs> Now, I say if I like that tuba sound, I want to lock it here. Boop. We keep we keep the trombone there, and let's go ahead and hit hit uh random. Dope. I rock with this. This is super cool. All right, so right now I got characteristics or the character and the dynamics turned all the way up. Now over here is where you can come and do kind of like the same thing, but you can change and add different sections right here. So I can come and add like staccato to this uh, specific French horn that I have here, and it's gonna loop everything through. It's gonna. I can't explain. It. It's gonna loop everything through, but that section I changed just out this. This section right here which is dope so let's add uh that there and let's come over here and i can actually add that that let's add some noise let's add a little bit of noise boom long wave or oh, whatever and i'm gonna mute all of these and we're just gonna see what it's doing over here so matter of fact let me add something right here so we can hear it immediately let's add a motive don't know what that means And then I can come right here, add an ARP, up or down. You can come over here and change the octave, so I'll change that. So you could do that for every individual section. So let's go ahead and add this French horn over here and let's add a, da -da 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 -da. let's add a, uh, I don't know, it says French horn. So we're gonna add a, okay, voice articulate, uh, alternate. So let's add a arp down too. And let's come over here and I like the swell. So let's let, add a swell for four bars and see what it sounds like. <laughs> Let's add this tuba and let's see what we got. Boom. Uh. Yo, this is dope. So I can come over here 
And if I wanted to, I could delete that or we could search for another one. Let's add, uh, don't know what the heck this is, decrescendo. I don't know all these musical terms. <laughs> Now, if I wanted to, I'd come over here and drag this over here. See, it was looping four bars, but if I want that just to loop two bars, then it'll go ahead and loop for me. So. You know what I mean? So, is it off? Yeah. So, there we go. And the cool thing about this, everything is already synced to our tempo. So, you don't have to change anything. Like, so, if, say, for example, if I came over here and I changed my project tempo to, like, 122, it's going to automatically scratch and map to my tempo. <laughs> this is cheating. This is dope. All righty. Let's go. Let me stop saying cheating. Why? Because it's not cheating. This is just, this is creative. This is something new. Let's go. You know what? Let me come in. I think I locked. No, I didn't. I got him unlocked. Or did I lock that one? Yeah, so let me unlock this right here. I don't know what this slider... Oh, that's what it does. You can change the different... You can slide in between the different sounds and stuff. So it looks like it's changing it. Yep. Does that. That's what that does. Let's go add. Let's randomize it. Boop. So what's super cool about this is that even though I have all these different presets, when I hit randomize, I'm still in don't explain presets, but it's random. It's randomizing all of these different um, uh, different types of brass. So it's just randomizing the individual types of brass, but it's keeping the preset the same. So let's go over here. And the character is still staying the same. The dynamics and all that stuff is still staying the same. I wonder if it does anything to, yeah. So I guess the effects and everything stays the same when I hit this randomize. So I still got that same preset effect applied to uh, these instruments, but it's, random, it's randomizing the different horns within it, how it plays it back, which is super dope. So I come back over here. And I can come back and hit that again. And that's pretty much it. See, now when I hit, when I change the overall preset, you notice that some of the effects on here change. So the tape changed and all the tonal stuff changed, but the, um, but the uh, uh, the the presets and everything that I had over here did not change. So let's see, not over here. Let me get out of here. Oh, I lied. It did change. Now, if I come back, now if I if I change this preset, this overall preset, this is what it sounds like. But the the effects on it doesn't change when I hit this randomization. So that's what I meant. I can come over here and even add a trombone and turn this off. And I can come over here and add any effect that I want to, to it. So I got my tape delay right here. Let's see how that sound. That's only on the tuba, so if I want to come over here and change it for everything, do I got a master? No, I think it is for, let's come over here. Okay, send effect, so. Okay, this is my send effect. So if I want to come over here and add more of this send right here to this, then I can change it overall, but I can send how much ever I want to each individual um, instrument, which is dope. So I come right here. And I can actually add individual tape saturation to this. I can come over here and I can hit send. And it's gonna add more reverb and all that other good stuff to it. So, which is dope. Super duper dope, like that. Over here is your settings and all that other stuff. We don't need that. Um, boom, boom, boom. And that looks like that's pretty much it, you guys. It's not that complicated. It's super, look like it's super simple to get started in and actually come in here and start making stuff. So let's.
And that's pretty much it, you guys. That is Valve by Native Instruments. If you guys like this video, then please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And if you like this plugin, then please utilize the link below. That helps out the channel, uh, supports the channel. It is, a, it is an affiliate link, so I do get a little kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything. So if you want to support, use that affiliate link below. Um, until next time, you guys be awesome, be creative, and don't let anybody stop you from doing what it is you want to do in life. Deuces.